Good evening. Hello, hello. Good evening, Eduardo. Good evening. Hola, hello. How are you today? I'm fine. You? I'm really good. Thanks for asking. Hello. Ya estamos. Ya estamos entrando todos. Hello. Good night. Good night. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. How are you today? Fine, thank you. Okay, I'm glad to see you. Okay, how are you? Yeah, we are about to start with today's class. One minute more. Okay. Don't wait for the rest of the students. And we start with today's class. Okay, eh, ok, students, eh, vamos a aprovechar este momento mientras entran los demás. Eh, uh, we're going to start with today's class in a minute. Eh, recuerden, you can ask uh, whatever you want about the class. I'm going to be here for you. Pueden preguntar cualquier cosa que de, acerca de la clase. Voy a estar acá para ayudarles, right? Ok. Okay, students. Nelly, how are you? Nelly, are you there? Fine, thank you. And you? I'm really good. Thanks for asking. Okay, don't forget to turn on your webcam. <laughs> <laughs> okay, don't be shy. Uh -huh, okay. Okay, that's good. Nice. Hello, how are you? Oh, shy. The people is shy. <laughs> the people is shy here, but don't worry. Uh, in this group, what we're gonna try is to uh, we're gonna make mistake at the beginning, but later we are gonna improve. Uh, you know, with the time, vamos a ir mejorando con el paso del tiempo. No se preocupe. Okay. Hello, how are you? Hello, Romel. How are you today? Okay, students. <clears throat> Let me see. Okay. Okay, did you remember yesterday class? Yes. We were talking about what? Yes. Simple present. A simple present, right? Positive. In negative form. In negative form. In negative form, right? And interrogative. Mm. More or less. More or less. Okay, okay, very good. Okay, students, uh, we're going to start with today's class. Please, all the participants. A tour on the webcam, please. <laughs> okay, let's see. Okay. Let me check. Okay, we're going to start with today's class. Uh, this is the warm up activity, right? Esta es la actividad de inicio. Uh, please, you have to tell to the class what you see on the screen. Tienen que decir lo que ven sobre la pantalla. Okay. Uh, it's going to appear some pictures there. Okay. Let me see. Hello, good evening. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? Fine. <laughs> okay, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. <laughs> okay, we're going to start with this activity. <laughs> Really nice sounds, right? <laughs> okay, that's good. Okay, let's see. 
eh, vamos a empezar con esta actividad. Ustedes me tienen que decir qué es lo que ven en pantalla en English, right? Ok. Ok. Ready? Yeah, let's get okay. ready. Ok. A boy. A boy. Very good. What else? What is the boy doing? Playing. 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 Very good. He's playing. Park. Yeah. In a park. Park. Ok. Very good. Park. Good job. Nice. Ok. I'm happy. Uh, ah, he's happy too. Really good. And jumping. Okay. And jumping, right? <laughs> good. What about this lady? She is dancing. She dances. Okay. She dances. Dance. Dance. Shake it, shake it. Listen. Listen. Okay. Very good. Listening the music. Ah, listening the music, right? Then she dances. She dances with the music. And yeah. shake it, shake it. Really good. It's like a daddy Yankee music, right? <laughs> <laughs> like that. Okay, that's it. Okay. What about this one? Okay. What is the man doing? Driving the car. Dri drive. Yeah. The like traffic. <laughs> ah, yeah. Sure. The On the gate. Yeah. Very good. Nice. Good job, students. Okay. Uh, we're going to continue with this. Thanks for participating with this activity. And we are going to continue with module number two, right? The topic okay. for today's class will be simple, simple present, present statement. statement. The same, right? <laughs> Almost the same. But now we are going to see the difference between regular verbs and irregular, irregular verbs. Irregular verbs. Because yesterday we didn't uh, mention anything about this. Okay, that's good. Okay, let's see. We got an objective for today's class. Uh, we got two today, right? Ahora tenemos dos. Okay, who wants to help me to read the first one? Okay, go ahead. By the end, by the end of this class, you will be able to make simple present statements using irregular verbs. Okay, very good. Thanks, Eduardo. Uh, let's see the second one, Saba. Okay, by the end of this class, you will be able uh, to, to <laughs> for simple present question. Additionally, we will practice on conversation about daily routines, I don't know, routines, which okay. daily routines, routine. illustration, how okay. this topic is used in a real life setting. Very good, nice, good job, thanks. Students, congratulations. You have a really nice pronunciation. I like it. Okay, students, and we got two objectives for today's class. The first one is that you have to be able to make simple present statement using irregular verb. Yesterday, the objective was uh, to simple make present. simple present statement with present. regular. Regular. Yes. Yeah. And now we are going to be able to do it, but with irregular verbs, right? Very good. Then we are going to be able to form simple present questions. Simple present question, right? Eh, ya vamos a ver cómo se forma esa pregunta. We only add do or does or wh word. Okay. Additionally, you will practice a conversation, right? Okay. About daily routines. And yes. we have a lot Okay, very good. At the end, students, uh, I need that you focus on this topic, daily routines. Daily routines. Do you have an idea what is daily routines? Uh, La action diarias. La La action diaria. Okay, very good. Uh, daily action, right? Uh, for example, the verbs, tell me the verbs. Levantarse, bañarse, comer. Mm -hmm. English. Uh -huh. yeah. Okay. Wake Get up. <laughs> wake up. Wake up. Uh, sleep. Uh, sleep, very good. Drink a choice. Brush. Okay, brush. Take a shower. Take a shower, really good. 
Eating breakfast. Uh, exercise. Breakfast. Pupusas, or I don't know. Dry. <laughs> work. Dinner. Lunch. They get bread for lunch. Um, clean the, clean the Watching house. Watching TV. Okay, very good. Okay, uh, as you see, a daily routine is really important, right? Because yes. you describe what you do during a day, during a week, during a month, or a year, or for a long time. Okay, uh, this one we're going to see at the end of this class. Now we are going to start with simple present statement using irregular verbs. Okay, look at this. Okay, before to continue with simple uh, present statement, we got useful sentences. What is useful in Spanish? Útiles. Útiles, very good. Poraciones útiles. Yeah, cool. Pero no los que lleva el niño a la escuela. Okay. <laughs> okay, that's good. <laughs> Okay, we get it this. I think so. I don't think so. I don't think so. I think so. I don't think so. You got an idea? I don't think so. You got an idea about this? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, very good. Yes, then? I don't know, is this, is this similar to I don't understand? Yeah, yeah, it's similar, right? Okay, don't worry. Uh, continue with this. I agree. I agree. I disagree. De acuerdo. 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 De Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening. Okay. Uh, how is it going? ¿Cómo vamos? ¿Qué tal todo? More or less, more or less. You got the idea. ¿Cómo te está yendo? <laughs> ¿Cómo va todo? ¿Cómo, ¿Cómo, te, cómo, va? ¿Cómo, cómo te, te va? ¿Cómo te va? ¿Cómo te va? Okay. ¿Cómo te okay, students. Uh, mm -hmm. Why I think you this question? Because all the time we say, hey students, how are you? And we say, I'm fine, I'm fine, right? But now we can use, how's it going? And you can answer, cool, very good. Mm, I have a nice day, <laughs> and so on, right? Uh, it's the same if you can use, how are you? That, how is it going, right? It's a bit. Digan, how are you? Solo que este es más así. How is, how is it going? How is it going? Okay, repeat after me. How is it going? Is it going? How, how is it going? How is it going? Going. Is it going? going? Okay, very good. How is it going? How is, how it, is, going? It, going? is it going? Okay, very good. When you hear that expression or that question, and you're going to understand that it's similar to how are you, right? Yes? Yes. Are you agree? No, no. Or disagree? <laughs> I disagree. Okay, that's good. Uh, Maggie, uh, when we say at the beginning of the class, how are you, Maggie? How are you? Mm -hmm. uh, you me, are, me. Yeah? How is it going? How is it going? Okay. okay. Si, si usted usa how are you, está diciendo cómo estás. How is it going? Mm -hmm. Es cómo te va. Más casual. Hay más interacción ahí. ¿Sí? Mm -hmm. Más confianza. Más confianza. Break it. Por eso okay. es que, que ya tenemos más confianza. Yo le voy a decir how is it going. Right? Mm -hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. okay. Mm -hmm. Una pregunta, Tich. ¿Y yeah. por qué razón si nos estamos refiriendo a una persona, si es ella o él, utilizamos el it como eso o esa? Yeah, that's a, a really nice question. Esa es una muy buena pregunta. En este caso es una expresión. ¿Cómo te va? No directamente a la persona. ¿Sí? Por eso es casual. Casual. 
But, es como algo informal, ¿cierto, teacher? Um, WhatsApp, yes, informal, right? Uh -huh. yeah. yes. How's it going? Es como casual. ¿Por qué? Mm, okay. Porque nosotros ya no vamos a escuchar casi eh, how are you, sino how's it going? Y cuando nos pregunta alguien esto, nosotros nos quedamos, mm. ¿qué es eso? ¿Y ¿Qué dijo? No me enseñaron eso en clase. Ah, y se puede... ¿Y se puede usar en plural y en singular esa misma expresión? Eh, yes. Okay. How's it going, guys? Everybody. How's it going? Yes. Okay. Very good. Okay. okay. That's good. Uh, how's it going is similar to how are you? I agree. Estoy de acuerdo. I disagree. No estoy de acuerdo. In this case... You notice that we don't use don't. No utilizamos una negación, sino que ya está. Disagree. Puntual. Ya. Yeah. Es similar al español. Yo estoy de acuerdo y estoy en desacuerdo. 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 Ok. Eh, I think so. This is a really nice expression. I like it. I think so. I think so, teacher. Creo que sí. Take note. Creo que sí significa. I think so. For example, imagine that somebody <coughs> is asking for something that you already know. Alguien les está preguntando algo que ustedes ya saben. Y ustedes le dicen, ah, creo que sí, I think so. Y si dicen, I don't think so, ¿qué sería? No lo creo. No creo. No creo. O creo que no. Creo que no. Nice. Ok, from now on. You can use this expression during this class. For example, if I ask something about the class and you are agree, and you say, yeah, I think so. Creo que sí. Okay, teacher, I don't think so. Teacher, creo que no es así, o creo que no, right? Entonces, vamos a utilizar these useful sentences in this class. Okay. It's clear? Everything is clear? Teacher. Yes. Uh, I think so. Is the is the same? Um, I know. Okay, I think so. Is the same? I don't think so. I I know. I don't I, think so. Oh, I don't know. Ah, yeah, yeah, I got it. Okay, I'm sorry. I think so. Creo que sí. I know es yo sé. Okay. Yo, yo es, sé. O yo es más es como más afirmativo. ¿no? Yeah. Yes. Very good. Okay. Yes, thank, thank you. you. La probabilidad mm -hmm. es por cero, ¿verdad? Ya. Más bajo. Ah, I think so. Creo que sí, pero no está. Mm -hmm. You are not sure. Ok. Ya. Yeah. Thank you. Ok, you're welcome. May I continue, students? Yes. Yes, ok. We got it this. Uh, yesterday class, we were talking about regular verbs. Pero no dijimos que eran los regular verbs. Solo mencionábamos que íbamos a agregar una es. Yes. O una y es. When we want to form the simple present. Cuando vamos a formular el presente simple. Ok. But in this case, when we are going to use es or es. When. Yes. Se usa... Es casi, digámoslo así, para todos los verbos. En el dado caso que el verbo termine en una consonante con una Y a la par, entonces no. se sustituye la Y y se coloca la I latina más ES. E y, si y si el verbo termina en S, Z, X, okay. en CH <risa> se le agrega ES. Oh. Y están las excepciones del DU. Y del go, que yeah. es das y goes, que es es al final. Ok, very good. Amazing, Carla. Good job. Applausos for you, right? Very good. I like it. Ok, basically, Carla explained all of this. Eh, ya nos explicó Carla, pero vamos a ir un poquito más despacio porque sé que algunos eh, vamos ahí que no entendemos. Carla, thanks. You are really good. Eh, ok, veamos. We add S. Cuando nosotros agregamos solo la S, estamos hablando de los regular verbs, verbos regulares. 
Keep in mind this. Mantengan en mente esto. Los verbos regulares son los que casi nunca tienen un cambio en presente o en pasado o en pasado participio. Un cambio drástico. Se mantienen no, la raíz. Yes, no pierden la raíz. Really good. Nice. Si ustedes ven like, what happened with like? We only add S. S. Solo agregamos S. No pierde la raíz en sí. Ok, very good. Esos son los verbos regulares, es decir, regular, como la palabra lo dice, no sufre muchos cambios. Ok, solo cuando está frente al... Tercera persona. Third person, very good. Ok, pero what happened with the irregular verbs, irregular verbs, cuando está en tercera persona? What happened? ¿Qué pasa? Cuando está en tercera persona. Se cambia su escritura. Very good. Cambia casi totalmente. Ok. Uh -huh. Vamos al example para que ustedes me puedan entender. Tenemos like. No es this one. Eh, like with this verb. Eh, like, likes. Solo agregamos ese con la tercera persona. ¿Este es un verbo? Regular. 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 What happened with the irregular, as the word said, como la palabra lo dice, irregular, cambia totalmente. Tenemos the verb be, is irregular, why? Because the verb be got three forms. Um, are in this. Hearsay con el third person. Okay, then we have have, what is have? Spanish. Has. Have. Tener. Uh, the other form with the regular verbs is. Has. 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 Go. Yeah. 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 Goes. Do. Does. Does. Let's see. I got the answer here. Okay, please, uh, students, uh, when you need to talk, Uh, you can turn on your microphone and then you can turn off, right? Yeah, are you agree? Yes, I agree. Yes, I agree. Okay, very good. <laughs> okay, nice. Okay, let's see. The verb V. Tiene tres formas. Am, um, is, e, are. Es, is irregular or regular verbs? Irregular verbs. Irregular. Does it change completely? Change completely. Okay, then we have have. Have. And has. Has with third person. For third example, person. I have an apple. Right? Yes. <laughs> he, he has. He has an apple. Third person. Okay, very good. Mm -hmm. Then we have go. 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 And goes. And go. 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 And he goes to school. Okay? And then we have two. Focus on this one. With do, we get a, a lot of way to use it. Tenemos mucha forma de utilizarlo. Do, como verbo, se pone does. But, uh, we can use it as an auxiliary verb. Lo podemos mm -hmm. utilizar como un auxiliar. auxiliar. Eh, what is an auxiliary? ¿Qué es un auxiliar para usted? Sería como un complemento para darle sentido a la, a la oración o a la pregunta. Ah, okay. Okay. Un apoyo. Por okay. un apoyo. Very good. Por ahí vamos. You got the idea? Ok. Imagine in your work. In your work, right? Eh, Sometimes we have an auxiliary person. Yes. Es para darle un mejor sentido a la, a la oración. Ok, en nuestro trabajo tenemos un auxiliar. ¿Qué hace el auxiliar? Apoyar. Apoyar. Ah, muy bien. Imaginémonos, ojalá que no pase. Alguien se enferma y. Sustituir. Sustituir, very good. Sustituir. That's good. That's the idea. Entonces, este verbo, como cuando es auxiliar, sustituye. El que va a sustituir cuando no exista el verbo 
to be. Y no está el verbo to be para formular una pregunta o para negar algo, va a ser does o do. ¿Sí? ¿Se comprende? Do you understand? More or less. Yes. Yes. Oh. Very good. Ok. Eh, Maggie. <laughs> you say no. 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 Maggie, eh, vamos a ver unos ejemplos donde vamos a profundizar más. Esto pasa en la forma negativa. El verbo to be, the verb be, am, is, are. ¿Qué significa am? Soy. Soy o? Estoy. Pero estar. Soy, very good. What does it mean is? Es. Es okay. o estar. Ok, very good. Pero. What does it mean are? Eh, está. está. Ok. Son o están. If you notice, all of these mean the same. Todos estos significan lo mismo, exactamente lo mismo, solo que se va a conjugar con los pronombres adecuados. We have to conjugate all of these eh, verbs with the personal pronoun. Right? Ok, very good. Eh, veamos. We're going to continue with this. Maggie, eh, and the rest of this, right? When we are going to make a negative sentences, cuando formamos una oración negativa, it's normal that we are going to use don't or doesn't. For example, I like pupusas. I like pupusas. This is positive or negative? Uh, positive. Positive, very good. Uh, and if I say, I don't like pupusas. Uh, well, uh, neg negative. Negative way, very good. Okay. I'm going to use don't with, a personal, with some personal pronouns. Voy a utilizar don't con algunos pronombres personales, no con todo. It doesn't. Exclusivamente for the third person. La Para tercera que... persona. Yeah. ¿Cuáles son las terceras personas en inglés? Eh, third, eh, uh, third person. Eh, third person. Uh, person. No. Third person. Third. Person. Third. Three. Third. Three. Third. Three. Third. Three. We have three third person. Mm -hmm. Three. Three. Y, 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 y. Con esas tres vamos a utilizar doesn't, doesn't para negar algo, para negar algo. But eh, with this do or does, don't, doesn't is an auxiliary verb, como son unos auxiliares en negación y en pregunta. Solo vamos a ocupar esto. Tercera persona. Third person. Yeah, when we don't have, we're going to use this, when we don't have the verb be. Vamos a utilizar esto cuando no tengamos el verbo to be. ¿Cómo así? Imagínense que usted dice, eh, ok, mm, let me see, soy un doctor. ¿Cómo diríamos eso? En In inglés. I am a doctor. Okay, very good. I am a doctor. Nice. I am a doctor. No soy un doctor. No soy un doctor. Uh, I don't a doctor. I am not. I am not. I am not a doctor. I am I don't, I am don't I am not. a doctor. Okay, very good. What happened here? ¿Qué teníamos ahí? ¿Por qué no utilizamos don y tasa? ¿Por qué no lo utilizamos? Porque teníamos... El verbo to be. El verbo to be. Um, very good. Um. Entonces, ese verbo to be, solo agregamos not. not. ¿Cuál es el verbo to be? Estos tres. These three ones. Am um, is, um, are. is are. Cuando tenemos este verbo y queremos negar, solo agregamos not. 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 But, if we don't have this verb, pero si no tenemos este verbo, estos verbos, vamos a utilizar don't. Don't. Por ejemplo. I don't a doctor. O doesn't. 
Okay. Uh -huh. For example, uh, for example, uh, let me see. Uh, I don't want to eat today. I don't want to eat today. No quiero ir a comer. No quiero comer hoy. Ahora. Ya es mentira porque ya comí muchísimo. Uh -huh. Estoy okay. bien. Ok, yeah, that's good. In this case, students, no tenemos verbo to be. We don't have verb be. Si no tenemos verbo to be, vamos a ocupar el auxiliar. Cuando no está el verbo to be, entra el auxiliar. En negación. In negative way. Do you understand, Maggie? Yes? Um, um poquito. Okay. <laughs> Not much. Okay, that's good. Okay, eh, we're going to continue en, y a medida vamos pasando, vamos a ir comprendiendo más. Voy a ir deteniendo. Okay, okay. Okay, thank you. Okay, for example, this, this example with all of you guys, do I speak English? This one is an affirmative. Affirmative. O positive. Tú, tú hablas inglés. Es una oración simple, positiva. Uh, we have, ¿Tenemos verbo to be acá? No. Hay verbo to be. Solo está un verbo que es speak. speak. Y no es verbo to be. Entonces, vamos a negar con el auxiliar. ¿Cuál de los dos compete en ese caso? El do o don't. Don't. El don't, right? Don't. Yes, you don't. You don't speak English. Right? Okay. Uh, it's clear? Clear. Yeah, very good. Okay, please repeat after me. Don't. 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 Okay. Doesn't. 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 Very good. Okay, students. Uh, this is the negative way. Uh, how we are going to make a question. Do or does. We are going to continue. This is a little bit tedious, boring, but we have to do it. Uh, do it does. ¿Cómo formulamos una pregunta con do it does? Veamos acá. Supermente easy. A piece of cake, right? How come? Let's see. Uh, okay. With the verb, with the verb be, con el verbo to be, solo cambiamos de... Lo anteponemos al lugar. We switch the position, right? A pronombre. Yeah, Lo anteponemos. Look at this example. You speak English. It's an affirmative, mm -hmm. right? Tú hablas inglés. Es una oración afirmativa. Question? Do you speak English? Do, do you speak English? Very good. What's happened with this sentence? We add what? Antes pusimos el do. el do. The auxiliary do and the apostle of question. Yeah, and the question mark. Very good. Thanks, Danilo. Okay, very good. The auxiliary do and the question mark. ¿Qué fue lo que hicimos? La magia que hicimos aquí. Utilizamos do. Uh -huh. y, en vez del signo de interrogación. Y el signo de interrogación. Okay. Final. Okay, let's see. In English... Uh, we have only one question mark. Solo tenemos un signo de interrogación. Es el que va. El cierre. Al cierre, yes. Very good. Uh, no, no existe al principio. Okay. But in this case, what does it mean do? What does it mean do? ¿Qué significa do? The verb is hacer. Okay. En uh, auxiliary. I don't know. <laughs> okay, that's good. Thanks. Yo, teacher, yo creo que eh, lo que está haciendo el tú en, en, en la oración es que, como lo dices, es un auxiliar. O sea, solo está soportando la oración eh, para el verbo. Es decir, la acción es speak. Entonces, está soportando el verbo que, que es hablar. Very good, thanks. Básicamente, lo que hace es soportar el verbo y lo convierte en una pregunta. En una pregunta. Básicamente, eso es. ¿Por qué me detengo acá, chicos? 
y les estoy hablando en Spanish, porque si ustedes comprenden esto, los demás ejercicios van a ser a piece of cake, right? Facilísimo. Ok, veamos este otro ejemplo. He speaks English. He speaks English. Aquí agregamos una S. Esta es third person. That's why we are going to use does. 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 Does he speak English? English. Question mark. Ya no agregamos S porque acá omite la regla eh, de agregar la S. Yeah, the auxiliary very good. In this case, students, does y do, estos dos no significan nada, no tienen un significado. Es decir, si nosotros queremos traducir do es hacer, en este caso es un auxiliar que no significa nada, nada más está diciendo que es una question. Yes, very good. Eh, me voy a detener en esto, sé que es un poquito aburridito, pero en las demás clases vamos a ir más corrido ya una vez comprendiendo eso. Ok, very good. Students, entonces, do it does, it means nothing. Only, eh, I'm going to tell you that is a question, right? Ok, yeah. very good. Ok. Ok, continue with this. Ok, we got uh, this WH word. Tenemos estas WH word. Who? Him. Yeah, quién. What? What? Qué. Qué, cuál. Podría ser en algunos casos. When. When. Cuando. Where again? When. Where. Donde. Nice. Why. Why. Por, Por qué. qué? Wow. Yeah. <laughs> Cómo. 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 Very good. Okay, students. Uh, you know already the WH word. Ya se saben las WH word. Así que va a ser sumamente fácil. Uh, I'm going to be back. Voy a regresar. Acá usted puede agregar una WH word sin quitar el auxiliar. Solo pone, why do you speak English? Why? Mm -hmm. Okay. Ajá, uh, yes. And you, and you can answer because... Because... Dice, because uh, for example, in my case... Why do you speak English, Edwin? Okay, I speak English because I like it. I love it. And I like to teach English. That's why. Okay, in this case, I can use why too. Why does he speak English? Right? Y ustedes pueden dar una respuesta a eso. Right? Okay. Uh, what we're gonna do here? WH word plus do or does, personal pronouns, verbs, and the complement, right? Básicamente, para hacer una pregunta, solo tienen que poner el auxiliar. Y si ustedes quieren profundizar más en esa pregunta, ponemos una WH word. It's clear? It's clear. Yes. 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 Hola? Yes. Yes. Yeah. Teacher, teacher, I have a question. Yeah, uh, uh, teacher, yeah, tell me. So, um, formula is a WS question plus do plus plus subject plus uh, verb subject subject okay plus a verb okay. Plus a complement, if you want to add a complement. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay, it's clear uh, your question, Saul? Yes, teacher. Thank you. Okay, you're welcome. Okay, somebody else have questions? No question? No. Okay, very good. Okay, students, you see here something really important. We have this one. What time? What time? Esta es una WH word que tenemos que aprendernos. What significa qué. En este caso, what time, it means what. What time, what time. Tell me a definition in Spanish. ¿Qué horas? ¿A qué horas? ¿En qué tiempo? ¿Qué, hora? ¿Qué momento? ¿A qué horas? Break it. Todo eso. Keep in mind, what time. Later on, we're going to build a sentence with this uh, WG word. Okay, veamos acá. 
Okay, let's practice, students. We got several verbs. We got three verbs, right? Three verbs. We got three verbs. Tenemos tres verbos. And this one is what? Working. Working, very good. What about this one? Drive. 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 Driving. Very good. Or oh, drive. What about this lady? Riding. Right, 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 a bicycle, very good, bicycle. okay, if you are able to identify these verbs, right, you can do sentences with these uh, verbs, what I want you to do, okay, okay, con cada uno de estos verbos, with each one of these verbs, you have to create sentences, one in negative and interrogative way. Necesito que por cada uno hagan oraciones en su mente, o si ustedes quieren anotarla, it's okay if you want to take note, eh, with negative way, utilizando don't or doesn't, y interrogative way. You can use WH word, or you can use do or does. Van a ser una negativa y una interrogativa de cada uno. For example, okay, let me check. Uh, okay, for example, I'm gonna do uh, one of these verbs. Uh, let me see, ah, uh, this, I like, I like this, this verb. Uh, okay, he, um, is not, is not riding a bike. Ella no está, no está what? Manejando. Yeah, that's Montando. good. Andando en bicicleta, right? Okay. Uh, what the questions here? ¿Cómo sería la pregunta para esto? What does she do? Mm -hmm, okay, really good. What does she do? ¿Qué, ¿Qué hace ella? Entonces ustedes pueden dar una answer, short answer. Very good. Like this, we're going to do a sentence in negative and interrogative. You have one minute to create it. Uh, este, eh, Richard, yeah. Yeah. Util, utilizando las interrogantes anteriormente. Yes, you can use this one. Utilizando estos. You can use WH word or do or does. Puedes, pueden utilizar solo do or does. O si quieren saber algo más a fondo, WH word, eh, like our partner, right? Como nuestro compañero que nos dijo why. Uh, ahí. Ah, what? He said what? Okay. That's good. It's good. Um, Eh, no, no me fijé que era eh, la palabra de eh, lo que está haciendo en la bicicleta. Ah, ella está, eh, ¿cómo se decía? Montar en bicicleta, básicamente. Montar. Ajá, lo que está Right, right. ¿Cómo era? ¿Cómo era? Right, right, right. Right, right. Okay, okay, students, you have one minute. And we're going to make group of of three or five, I don't know. Okay, let's see. We got three verbs, work, drive, and write. Don't forget it. Okay, here we go. Let me see. Okay, very good. Okay. Okay, students, ready? Uh, we're gonna make group of four and uh, you can share your negative sentences and interrogative uh, sentences that you did, right? Okay, here we go.
Bane, you can, uh, you have to accept the meeting, right? Tiene que aceptar la reunión. Vanessa Mendoza. Okay. Okay, how are you, students? Hello. Hello. Hi. Hi. Share your sentences. Okay. ¿Ya las tienen? No. <laughs> Not yet. Okay, that's good. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. Con esto vamos a trabajar. Okay. Ya tengo aquí. Oh, he's in play, o sea, no está jugando, solo está ah, jugando, okay. trabajando. He isn't playing. Ah, playing. He, él no está jugando. Ajá. Mm -hmm. He isn't playing. He isn't playing. Ajá, okay. hoy vamos con drive. Con drive. Mm -hmm. Y son ellos dos, va. Ajá. Entonces, what do... He drive. What do What do they? They. What do they? Uh -huh. What do they? They. What do they? What do they? O sea, ¿qué están? ¿Qué están? Pero haciendo otra vez. What do they no. doing? Y si está, eh, como es drive, ¿qué están manejando? Porque podía ser una moto, un tren, un bus, ah, y ellos okay. están manejando un carro. What do they, ajá. Uh -huh. they... Drive. Drive. Ok. Driving. Uh, you can use driving. driving. Uh -huh. What do okay. they, ajá. Uh -huh. What do they driving. Pero es que el, el, el ING no solo se usa en el, en el to be. ¿Cómo que está? Porque se está moviendo. No, ¿Qué, they... ¿Qué manejan? ¿Me manejan lo ¿no? que qué están o qué manejan? Sería la cuestión. Yeah, what are you, what are you driving? ¿Qué? Yeah, but in this what? case, what are you driving? But ah, are you driving? Uh, we are not in... Ah, what are? Uh, we are in single Why? Or other WH word. Okay. What are they driving? Pero, ¿por qué no estamos usando el do ni el das? Yeah, tienen que utilizar el do o das. For example, ah, podría ser WH word. Uh -huh. What? Do they, do they drive? Do they drive? Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Drive. Uh -huh. What do they drive? Do they drive? Do they mm -hmm. drive without a British word? Okay. okay. Do they drive? Thanks. Yeah. Do yeah. they drive? They, they drive a car. A car. Uh -huh. Hagamos la negativa. They... They don't. They don't. They don't work in. Okay. They don't. They don't work in. Uh huh. Yeah. Okay. So, no están trabajando. Guarden su información y I'll be back in a minute. Guarden su información. Regreso in a minute, right? I'm gonna check the other guys. Right. Son excepciones a la regla. Ah, entiendo, entiendo. Uh -huh. O sea que dependiendo. Hello, teacher. Hello. 
Ay, dependiendo cómo se escriba. Bueno, a mí, a mí así me enseñaron en el ISCA, en el Centro Cultural Español Americano, en SPIC, en el colegio. Sí, también fue así. Sí, ahí quizá más adelantado, ¿verdad, Cher? Vamos a ver porque aquí estoy recibiendo clases de, de Carla, pero ahí me, me imagino que más adelante conforme a los verbos. Sí, sí. ¿Tienes preguntas? Eh, conforme a la se, pon, se antepone la S, eh, me decía Carla que es, de, dependiendo también al verbo, en yeah. cuanto... La escritura. O sea, va de, ajá, en cuanto va a depender al verbo, ¿verdad? pero eh, yo le decía a ella que como ahorita, me imagino que estamos con los verbos regulares, me imagino que más adelante nos va a explicar yeah, right. acerca de esta... Yeah. That right now we, pero we para mí es, es, es nuevo. Yeah. Dígame. Yeah. Yeah. Eh, recuérdense que en este momento estamos en beginners, principiante, módulo 2, así que eh, Carla knows a lot, right? Carla sabe mucho. Eh, <ríe> entonces, okay. eh, en este caso, ella se nos adelanta en ese aspecto, está muy bien porque tú puedes aprender de ellas, incluso yo. But, eh, time, eh, we don't want to see right now that rules. But later on, pero luego sí las vamos a ver. Recuérdense que hay esta, ya los otros módulos que son más avanzados, donde vamos a ir viendo ya más detenidamente cada uno de esos puntos. Ya. Yep. Ok. Ok, ok, that's good. ¿You got the questions? No, teacher. Uh, no. No, no. No yet. No yet. Okay, okay. Bueno, yo tengo, yo tengo unas preguntas, pero creo que me voy a adelantar. Lo que pasa es que anoté yeah. todos los verbos regulares y los irregulares y hay muchas palabras que yo no sabía que eran verbos. Entonces, yeah. creo, que, <risa> creo que depende del, del contexto, vea. Por ejemplo, milk. O sea, para mí milk es leche, vea. Yeah, yeah. Ajá, ¿y en qué momento se va a hacer un verbo? Dije yo. Y comencé mm. a averiguar, entonces... Por ejemplo, si yo quiero decir que yo estoy ordeñando o yo ordeño a la vaca yeah. a las 5 de la mañana, ahí se ocupa el mil. Yeah, I, I mil to go at 5 a.m., por ejemplo. Yeah, that's good. That's right. Ajá, yeah. Entonces son preguntas que creo que más adelante en otros módulos se van yeah, a ver. Pues, right. Yo porque me adelanté a notar todos los verbos. Yeah, but don't worry. It's okay, Carla. Good job. If you can, uh, you know, uh, look for extra information, it's okay. You're going to learn quickly, and that's cool. I like it, right? Okay. Okay, okay students, uh, we only have two minutes more. Please hurry up and finish your sentences, and then you have to share with your uh, co-workers, Saúl and Nuria, right? And Carla. Okay, I'll be back in a minute. I'm going to go to the group. Okay, teacher. Okay. Que dijo de que, pero hoy, hoy quizás no vamos a regresar, pa, porque ya, ya casi vamos a terminar. Ya nos olvidó. Uh, <risa> ya nos dejó tirado, pero no nos llamó. <risa> Ay, Ay está hablando. <risa> ok, ok. You finish ¿Por qué estás? Yes. Ok. You finish? Yeah. 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 Okay. Very good. Uh, I'm gonna wait for two minutes more because the rest of the students didn't understand <laughs> the, uh, how to do this sentence, right? Ellos no comprendieron muy bien cómo hacer las oraciones o tienen problemitas, así que vamos a ir despacito, right? Okay. Fashion, please, you can share your, uh, you can do extra uh, sentences if you want or share some knowledge about the class. Okay, students. We wait. Okay, thanks. Hello. Hello. How's it going? You did your uh, sentences? Yes, we finish. Okay, very good. And you share with your co-workers? ¿Las compartieron? Uh, yes. Yes, okay, very good. Okay, thank you. Uh,
we're gonna be back because of the time, right? Right, okay. Okay, Okay, students, uh, we finished with this activity. I hope you um, will be able to share your sentences. Okay, we're gonna finish with today's class with this one. Uh, as you see, time, you know, it's hurry up. Si ustedes notan el tiempo se nos va sumamente rápido, así que, como ustedes, así que vamos a ir avanzando. Uh, we're gonna finish with this. Let's see the platform. Eh, okay, veamos. Eh, ¿Ya accedieron a la plataforma? Yes or not? No. Yes. <laughs> yes. Yes. Not, yes. Uh, I'm okay. not. Not teacher, not. No, teacher. Okay, very good. Remember, the platform is for you. Okay. Yours, you can do. Uh, you can practice as many times as you can. Pueden practicar ahí, hay videos relacionados a la clase. Todo lo que vemos en la clase está ahí, respectivo, un video, eh, of from like five minutes or sometimes it's only two minutes, right? Okay, you can watch videos. In this part, you will find a discussion part, right? You can add your comment. Remember to write in capital letters, commas, punctuation mark, and so on, right? Then we have knowledge check. Teacher. Yes. Eh, una pregunta. Yeah. No sé si me escucha bien por el internet, pero eh, si nosotros no llegásemos a entender alguna parte, ¿le preguntamos a usted el privado o...? Le diríamos para que el ejercicio lo resolviera usted en la clase y nos explicara a todos. Yeah, sure. Eh, okay, what we can do is the next student. Lo que podemos hacer es lo siguiente. Eh, you can tell me if you don't understand the exercise and we can do it together, right? Eh, in the class. It's okay. 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 okay ready. Teacher, también en, lo, en los videos, este. Cuando la persona que está exponiendo el tema va hablando, en la parte derecha eh, yeah. se está traduciendo todo en español, entonces, y todo está ahí en español, entonces si nosotros no entendemos lo que está diciendo en inglés, podemos revisar lo que está escrito en español a la derecha para que entendamos mejor. Yeah, Eso me ha ayudado a mí. Yeah, that's a very nice comment. Yes, yes. Yeah, that's good. Okay, remember that on the video section, right? En esa sección también tienen una discussion part. Discussion part. You can add your comments. Pueden agregar sus comentarios del video. Es lo que vimos en la clase. ¿Sí? Right? And then uh, sometimes you're going to find knowledge check. Knowledge check. What, what is this? Es un pequeño test. Uh -huh. De, Exacto, de, de conocimiento, conocimiento. Yeah. de aprendizaje. Yeah. We'll get, for example, here it says, my family and I, uh, here you're going to find a, the verb be or a verb, I don't know, in this section, select an option. Mm -hmm. You have to choose the correct one. Tienen que elegir la que se asemeje más o la que ustedes consideren que es. Correcta, right? Yeah. Okay, students. Right. Okay, that's the video, but we don't have time for the video. <laughs> okay, uh, that's the knowledge check. This one. Okay, as a homework, think in a daily routine for tomorrow class. Think on a daily routine. Piensen en su rutina diaria. We have, I get up, take a shower, I get dressed. I have breakfast. I go to work. I start work. I have lunch. I lunch. I finish work. I finish work. I write. 
I have dinner. Okay. I watch TV. Nice. I go to bed. I go to bed. Okay. What you are going to do a uh, tomorrow activity? You have to describe your own daily routines, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Tienen que describir su propia rutina diaria. ¿Les parece? Yes. Okay. De, todo, de todo el día. Uh, I agree. Some activities, right? Some activities. Okay. Una oh. de la mañana, una de la tarde, una de la noche, podría ser. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay, very good. Okay, students. Uh, Thanks, teacher. Okay, you're welcome. That's it for today's class. Uh, thanks for being here on time. I'm really happy to see you today. See you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. Have a good night, bye -bye. everybody. Bye-bye. See you. Bye, everybody. Bye. 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 Good evening. Good night. Good night. Good night.